Oh, there he is. How are you doing? What have you got? Do you smell pepperoni? Oh, you do, don't you? <laughs> He's doing much. Hey, that's mine, you. He's getting better, I think. Okay, we're going to go chop this tree down with these axes. I can't tell you how many people have been asking me for this for years. Friends, you got to understand something. Sorry to be rude. Um, this isn't a game for me, this, this job. No. It's not something that I think to myself, hey, I'm going to go do a YouTube video, video and chop a tree down with an axe to get views or, or to be cool. T to me, that, that's what a power saw is for, is cutting trees down. I mean, but now that I'm in the video making business, um, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The entertainment business. So, I hope you enjoy it, actually. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to... No, maybe I won't. I was thinking about bringing this thing. I made this axe recently. Hmm. I'll leave it. What a beautiful forest. So it's it's in here, some some place. I don't know exactly where. It's over it's over there. It's dead. It may even have come down. I don't see it. Uh, but I don't I don't think it has. I think it's still standing there somewhere. So yeah, maybe over there. All I know is it's got a big lean in it, friends. So what we brought today, I guess, is this here. The Donald Snow axe from this this guy, which is which is just amazing. I mean, it, it's it's just ridiculous. Ridiculous this axe thin cheeks like it was so old I cleaned it up and, and it's so thin like you could bend these with a hammer You know what I mean? I, but I got this thing working like you wouldn't believe and I got an HB cruiser here that chops like nobody's business It's not really heavy, but it's nimble as heck I got my Pro Mac 55 to pull me out of the bite if need be and I got a little gas and then I got this thing Which is my beauty So we'll make our way through the buck brush here 
and uh, we'll make our trapes our way in. It, it actually looks, oh no, I see it over there. Yeah, I see it. It's not a massive tree, friends, but it, it is bigger, bigger than, uh, this is a beautiful forest. This is that one where I came and look at, look at, look at the Arbutus all wrapped and, and, and twined around the fir trees. Arbutus is an interesting tree. Um, I know Haneke, Mr. R uh, August Haneke, he runs into them uh, where he's from, which I believe is uh, uh, Grant's Pass. Is it Oregon, maybe? Because they do grow there. Um, we have similar timber. Yeah, here it is here. And it, it's not pretty. There's actually a few in here that, that uh, are a problem. There's another. Well, that one's still okay. But look at it pressed into this fir. See that fir tree right there, that little guy? goes up and it it's just it's just bent right into it this these arbutuses are uh they're a funny tree i don't have a lot of swing room here but we're coming straight up to it at 12 o'clock here right in front of us it's not pretty to chop with an axe because of its uh we got wind and, and here it is here friends it, it's aren't forests just beautiful look at the timber swaying here look up it's just the, the, look at how it just the earth is such a beautiful place there's one that got taught or, or broken right there see this one here it it had a top blow out of it you guys probably won't see much yeah see that one there's got like three tops because it broke and you can actually see where it broke and uh yeah so anyhow friends here's the tree we're gonna attempt to cut down with an axe it's right it's right here it's actually a good size freaking tree to be honest with you I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it it it's it's big. <laughs> but I'm gonna hit it with some of these tools I got here. I'm gonna start with my cruiser. Uh yeah, here it is, friends. Yeah, I mean it it's I should probably take off my This is it here. Yeah, it, it's and and the swing on for I've just got enough room I can swing. I'm a right hander. So uh you know, there's Brian coming right in the way of the fall here <laughs> okay let's uh let's start out with a cruiser here let's get you guys going let's get you guys going we'll just get you guys right here should be a pretty good view here for you Anything? oh yeah i'm out mumbling again you know me brian always mumbling how we doing bud good Oh, okay, no problem. I'll just start chopping away. It's going to take me a little bit here. But I wanted to get to get this thing going here. Yeah. There we go. Take a few folks out of here. It's going to have to be. So, here we are, friends. It's uh I might have to chop this down. Is that okay, Brian? This So here's our here's our tree. She's got a pretty good lean. But but this yeah, right in the hole there, bro. It's it's here. I'm gonna I'm gonna I got a few axes. I'm gonna swing around here and just just play around, see what we can. Okay. Hey, well, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I'm just gonna start chopping, Brian. I'll let you know when I'm done. You'll hear it probably. Yeah, don't uh, don't leave without seeing this. No, I'll I'll let you know before I go. So, so here this thing is, friends. It's not, uh, you know, this gives you an idea. The rest of the timber gives you an idea of the lean it's on. It's, it's here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I got a few axes. I'm gonna swing around here and just, just play around, and see what we can get at here. It's a big, pretty big girth on it. So I'm gonna start chopping. I'm just gonna start chopping. But she's leaning like mad. I was hoping to actually chop it. A huge undercut in it, like a massive undercut. And um, you know what I mean? Just just a great big huge undercut, and uh, and see how we do with that, right? A few 
pulls on that McCullough. She be laying on her dogs. He's a wood man. He's a wood man. Stirs his coffee with his thumb. Oh, he's a wood man. He's a wood man. Use his paws to wipe his bum. He's a wood man. He's a wood man. Smells like salmon gasoline. He's a wood man. He's a wood man. Do it. Oh, God. Oh, God. This thing will probably start making a little bit of racket here soon. I'm kind of in a funky spot. Right? Once this back plate gets broke, Arbutus is very tough. Yeah, I got my back up against here now. She goes. Okay, so this camera here was the one that stayed on the whole time. 21 minutes to cut that tree down. Actually, no, that's not true. The camera was running for three or four minutes. It was this 15, 15, 16 minute job. 16 minute job. 
that tree and it wasn't pretty. Thank goodness I had some wood cut out of the middle of it, but it's, it's Madrona. And if any of us know what Madrone is, it's, it's Arbutus, which is solid as a rock and it becomes about five times as hard when it's dead. And that's what this is, dead Arbutus. As you can see, I got a little water on the brow. Uh, and it had a lean in it, so that helped me there. So I had things helping me, it was on a lean. But I notched the sides, friends, because that would have been, there's the, look at, there's hingewood, there's hingewood. But no hingewood on the sides, just a big chunk of hingewood right in the middle of the tree. Sorry. Um, yeah, so there it is, right in the hole, right dead center in the undercut. That's where the hole was. But this little cruiser, friends, okay, now I want, I want you guys to understand something here now. This is more than just, I'm gonna use this camera now. We're gonna shut this one off. Okay, now, the, the, what I wanna talk about here right now is, uh, believe it or not, is my axis, okay? Yeah, um, I hafted that ax, put a couple of dings in her today, Beautiful, beautiful axe, beautiful axe. Remember friends, that's a two and a half pound axe. It wasn't a real big uh, tree chopping axe. It was just nimble. There's kind of a line there, friends. The heavier the axe, the harder it is to swing. That's just physics, that's, that's reality, right? So the lighter the axe, in a sense, <sighs> Maybe you're going to take a smaller piece of wood out of the piece of wood you're hitting. But it, you have to weigh that out with yourself. Yeah, you, you have to. You have to weigh that out with yourself. I, I like a nimble axe and it's all about the hits and how you execute something. I've watched people struggle with splitting firewood where, where I had to leave. I had to go or because it's rude to come in and say, hey, give me that axe. Let me take care of that. You know, because you can see they're into it. And you just you don't want to say nothing. I don't. Anyways, I'm not like that. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, so, so, so you have to ask yourself what's most important for you personally, friends, that, that, okay, now what I want to talk about is the fitmanship on, on this axe, okay? I, I want you to see something. You, you see what's going on there? there? There it is. There's no steel wedges in this axe. Friends, I just kicked the living poop out of this axe. It's been sitting in my shop. It's dead dry. Look at it, friends. Look at it. There's no steel wedges in it. It hasn't budged. It has not budged. This was that hickory handle that I was making for Al. Remember logger Al and the handle broke? There was it, there was, and it, but I salvaged out a smaller piece of it to make this little thing. It was, it's a beautiful piece of wood. I mean, beautiful. You can feel it in the swing. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous axe. It's a two and a half pound HB cruiser axe on about a 31 inch handle. So it's on a longer handle than a normal uh, cruiser would be on. Correct. So, and the other axe I was swinging, which I found quite amazing, is Donald Snow's axe. I don't even know how to pronounce the guy's name. It's this guy here. Uh, st is it, is it st um, st uh, st Stoller? St Stoker or Stoller? J, J. S. Stoller maybe or but this axe is probably from the early 1900s maybe if not late 18 friends it is a beautiful axe I'm going to show you a couple things with it right now and I didn't even did I use my big no I didn't use my big big split axe or, or maybe I did I forget you guys would know better than I did so here's the three axes but I don't think I used the big one I forget if I did or not I may have actually but I want to show you something okay I want to show you something right here right now now this little axe that uh, Don Snow gave me, we're gonna do a little, little test here. I wanna show you guys. But look at that stump, <laughs> right? Okay, you know, big undercut, notch the sides and hit it in the back, let her go. Okay. Okay, friends, here, let's, uh, I just wanna show you guys a little something here. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen here, if you guys are gonna fall down or what's gonna happen. So here's our cruiser. I'm gonna show you a couple pieces we took out of here. And this big axe. So here's Donnie Snow's little axe. And I think we, this thing is nuts, friends. It, it is, it's crazy. It really is. It just, I don't know what it is. But, man. So there's,
few hits with that axe. See, the longer handle's nice. So, those are, those are very nice. This stuff's like, like freaking rock. It is, it's like rock. Here's the big axe. And it's not as, not as nimble, but it's heavier. So it's harder to, to lift and get up over your shoulder, but it'll chunk wood, right? Okay. So, there's the weapons of the day. Bucking specials. None of them got bucking stamps on them yet. I would have to say, this was my favorite of the day. The long handled cruiser. Mind you, that was scary mean too. Small axe is nice and nimble. When you gotta be in tight, that was tight quarters with them trees in my way and stuff. That tree, I've been thinking about that tree for a long time. So, there's no method to the madness on the undercut. I mean, the tree was like this. Ever tried to cut a tree down like this with an ax? <laughs> when it's like this? <laughs> it's much easier when they're straight up. If you've chopped a tree down with an ax, you'll understand what I mean. Easy to hit the back cut, no problem. It's the undercut. Getting an undercut in a piece of wood like that's tough. You, you, really tough. You shank off if you're not careful. Dig it into your shin, so be careful. Anyway, uh, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I got a sweat on. Got the heart rate up. Looking forward to doing some more of that this summer. Over and out, friends. Thanks for joining me.